at Trey Young, when you're looking at the guy who is literally the straw that stirs the drink of your franchise, he's diminutive in size. We've talked about Trey at nauseum about his defensive uh, deficiencies and things of that nature. And more often than not, is that you're going to have to build a team around him. It seems like Landry Fields, who have take, has taken over for Travis Schlink, who took his services up to the DMV area. Travis uh, Landry Fields has seen, okay, well, if Trey is our guy, and we're going to build it around him. We need to get defenders. And that's what they did. If for some reason you can continue to extract whatever you can from DeAndre Hunter. You saw the growth of Jalen Johnson, who we'll get into a little bit later. I think that you're building the correct team around Trey Young. You kind of just gloss over the deficiencies. You allow that that guy who is excellent with the ball in his hands. Great decision maker, great law thrower. To be able to excel in the things that he does well. And then you can kind of minimalize the things that he doesn't do well. By the length and the defensive intentionality of the other guys on the court. Now, what's going to have to happen with Dyson Daniels, and we're going to get into that momentarily, is this. The key thing to this is that he's still raw. His offensive game is still raw. He's going to have to shoot it better. He's going to have to floor space. He's going to have to shoot the three better. And again, <clears throat> this is something as easy as, let me go ahead and concentrate on corner three. I don't need the above the break three as of yet. Let me just go ahead and really start nailing these corner threes. If Dyson Daniels takes up that type of thought process in his head coming into this year, this is what I'm looking for as we go into the year for Dyson Daniels is the, your corner three. Are you going to be able to do that? Are you able to get on and off the ball quickly? Make quick decisions with the ball. Be decisive. Those are the things I'm looking for with him. Now it all depends on what his role is going to end up being. But as somebody who is as long as he is, who is defensively locked in as he is yeah the only thing that's going to hold him back is his shoot daniel's defensive metrics had him at 2.5 defensive box plus minus last season which ranks him in the top percentile of among young guards that's impressive for a guy who's still finding his way offensively those are the type of things that landry field earmarked as important he saw it in his um i'm sure with his analytics team that they wanted to go ahead and try to build a team, craft a team around Trey Young that can hide him. So that's where we are with uh, Dyson Daniels. An NBA scout mentioned that Daniels is still raw offensively, but still, but his defensive versatility is something that Atlanta has been lacking. He need he'll need to develop a reliable shot, but his ability to guard multiple positions is a big plus for Atlanta.